Okay, I hope you've enjoyed learning a bit about Lee theory. Um, because of the compact nature of the course, I haven't been able to go into as much detail as I would have liked, or maybe as you would have liked. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is give you some references where you can go and read in absolute gory detail about some of the things you may have missed out on. So first book is this one. It's one of my favourite books. Uh, Fulton and Harris Representation Theory. Um, it's got loads of examples. It's basically packed with examples and pictures of root diagrams and weight diagrams. and uh, It's where I learned a lot of the stuff in the second half of this course. So you will notice, I think, if you read the book, the sort of heavy parallels between the way I explain things and the way they explain things. But they go a lot, lot further um, with a lot more examples and motivation stuff. So it's a really good book. Uh, next, uh, Introduction to Lee Groups and Lee Algebras by Kirillov. So this is also a really good book, more theoretical. Uh, it's also slimmer um, and covers the, uh, the theory in a slightly different way with slightly different focus. Uh, but then probably towards the end, what I was saying about root systems and stuff, that's all uh, all covered in here. In fact, you know, a lot of what I learned about root systems, I learned from this book. It's also freely avail available on uh, Kirillov's website, I think, if you have a look. Um, good book. Another good book, Lee Groups, uh, Lecture on Lee Groups and Lee Algebras by Carter, Siegel and MacDonald. This is three sets of lecture notes from courses that were given in uh, 1993 in Lancaster. Um, one by Carter, one by Siegel, and one by MacDonald. Uh, Carter's lectures are about Lie algebras. And the first time I read this book, I didn't know anything about Lie theory. And on page one, it's like, a Lie algebra is something satisfying these axioms. I was like, why would we care about that? So I, that put me off chapter one. Um, but coming back to it, knowing a bit about Lie algebras, I like it. It has a very quick, it gets very quickly to the classification theorem. And, and does that in quite nice, uh, in quite a nice way. Chapter two, Siegel's chapter, is really nice. Uh, it's more about uh, the representation theory of Lie groups, uh, compact groups, from an analytical point of view. So character theory that we didn't really touch on at all in this course. Um, and then chapter three is about algebraic groups, which is a slightly different direction. But again, not a huge book, uh, and you can get a lot out of it very quickly. Next, Lectures on Lee Groups by J. Frank Adams. So this guy was a, a very eminent topologist um, and he has a kind of idiosyncratic approach in this, uh, in these lectures. So he doesn't talk about Lie algebras. He focuses more on the maximal tori and um, yeah, he develops all the theory in a, again, a completely different way really from what we've done. Um, but it's a really good book. Uh, a lot of the arguments I gave were actually inspired by things in this book um, in the first half of the course. So there's a lot more about maximal tori, in particular the proof, the uh, proof that any two maximal tori conjugate is explained really nicely in this book. It's one of those kind of typewriter books. Uh, you know, the font looks a bit like a sort of typewriter, which some people don't like, I really do like, but uh, anyway. Next, uh, this one, I only got it recently, but it takes a similar approach to the approach I did. It focuses on matrix groups. Um, again, typewriter book, uh, but a good typewriter book. Uh, lots of examples, um, very concrete, and covers a lot of the same material that we did. Next, a completely different kind of book. Warner, Foundations of Differentiable Manifolds and Lie Groups. This doesn't deal with matrices. This deals with manifolds from the ground up. So if you don't know anything about manifolds, this is maybe a, a good place to start. Um, it does a lot more than just Lie groups. You know, it, it talks about Lie groups, but at the end it talks about Hodge theory and Dirac cohomology and all sorts of other things. And the section on Lie groups is, is really good. It, it, if, you, if you felt what I did was too uh, sketchy and coordinate-y, this is very, uh, this would be up your street. It's kind of a lot of manifolds, a lot of um, invariant expressions, like very little coordinate stuff. Um, yeah, it's really good. And it proves the kind of main theorems that I missed out, um, or many of them. So it's a good book. This one, uh, 
Nap, Knap, I don't know, Nap, Lee Groups Beyond an Introduction. Um, this is a massive book um, and it does a lot. It strangely, I feel like it doesn't necessarily do everything, um, but it does a lot. Uh, so if you're looking for uh, gaps, uh, you're looking to fill the gaps that I've left, uh, this is maybe a good place to start. Um, in particular, it does have a, a proof of the Baker Campbell Hausdorff Baker Campbell Hausdorff formula in here, but it's kind of a big mess. Uh, there's a much quicker way of doing it. Um, that I'll, there's another paper by Eichler that does it much more quickly than this, but maybe this gives you a better idea of why that theorem is true. And the last book I'm going to talk about is not a book about Lie theory. It's uh, kind of an odd shaped book by. Can I read? Maybe that's uh, that way around. Coxeter, regular complex polytopes. So if you like the bit about root systems and root diagrams at the end, uh, this is full of that kind of stuff. I mean, it's not necessarily about Lie theory, but it's got pictures like this. Isn't that awesome? So that is, I don't know, that's just a random one. That's some, some kind of root system or, well, not the root system, but it's some polyhedron projected down to two dimensions from I don't know what dimension, maybe four. Um, yeah, so it's all about the geometry of polyhedra and uh, so in particular the kind of coxeter dinkin diagrams we were talking about get introduced really nicely in this book. He also has the instructions for making an icosahedral kaleidoscope. So if you want to know how to make the icosahedral version of the kaleidoscope I used in the, um, the video on classification, uh, of root diagrams, then, you know, have a look at this book. Okay, so happy reading.